What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Randy here, Nerds Templar. Uh, figuring a new day here. I'll open a new pack. I'm pacing myself, but I think it's I think it's good. We're gonna actually be getting um, a couple more today, and a a delivery of older cards actually coming tomorrow uh, from PokemonCenter.com. So I know that they're real. They're just some of the, they're not super old. They're just the oldest ones that they still have available there. I figured I'd get them. Anywho, uh, going to open this, which is a uh, Scarlet and Violet. It's actually a, uh, what do you call them? Promo. See there's a little black promo star. And, uh, and this was the one there is that there's another, uh, bug type promo card like this. Um, these, I got this, I got this uh, Lugia or whatever. I can't remember what uh, pack this is from, what series this is from, but it is a, a mini portfolio. Actually, I will. It is a uh, Scarlet Violet. I'm pretty sure. Right. Cause no, no, it was Silver Tempest. Yeah. Cause we had, uh, um, so what I did here is went through, these are reordered now um, by series from earliest to newest series, earliest to latest. And, um, and then it is an order after that by um, value, at least because, well, whatever, the, I, there's a there's a nice site, probably the first one you find if you Google uh, Pokemon trading card game uh, values or whatever, cards of card value. Uh, so it was like the first thing that looked pretty legit to me that popped up. And it was amazing, amazing database, all the information. <clears throat> and uh, so I was able to not only do these, but I did some of my, the newer cards that were uh, from everything except the first, uh, the first series, the first generations, I should say, like base set, base set two, fossil, jungle, rocket, uh, the gym leaders, gym challenge card, those, that, that, uh, that whole s list part, generation one, basically, um, I didn't go through those yet because I wanted to start with the newer ones because that got me more excited to now go through my older ones because they are, I will go, we'll even look at those again uh, in the next video, maybe because I'm going to check these out now that I reordered them uh, before we open this pack. And then also I'm going to open the other, I'm going to go, I need to go to the store again. So I figured I would pick up the other one of these because they still have a several of both. So I'm going to grab the other one. And I'll be good on those. I don't think I'll get any extras. Um, I don't know. I probably won't get any more mini portfolios. They had a, they had several more of these too. Um, I might maybe get one more just because uh, it's kind of. I kind of like the. I'll be getting more mini portfolios in the future, but I do kind of like them. They're kind of cool. Um, and what else? Oh yeah, <clears throat> we got this uh, Gardevoir tin yesterday and they also have the matching Blissey tin and there's oh there were only two of each of these so I'm definitely going to grab the Blissey tin and have one of each leave the other two for some lucky kid <laughs> so then I'll have the other I'll get both of those so I'll have both of those different promo packs and and then I'm probably going to end up getting the Pikachu uh, mini tin from uh, Pal uh, I think it's also Scarlet and Violet it's um Whatever, it's like the first tins, I think, maybe from Scarlet and Violet. So I'm going to grab the Pikachu one. They have all the Paldean starters as well. Maybe I'll see if I can. Uh, I think that's what they were. Uh, maybe they weren't, but there's four, I'm pretty sure, total. I know that there was four that were over there, but there are two Pikachu ones. We'll see what I end up getting, but I'm going to get one of those. That's 10 bucks. I get another one of these, that's 15 and then one more of these for now, and that is probably about... Uh, 20 bucks, I guess. And I don't know, maybe, maybe not grab another of these uh, vivid voltage boosters that they had. Maybe about two dozen of maybe. Anywho, so this is what I'm going to open now. I'm going to do this one now and then, uh, and then I'm going to go to the store, but I didn't want to wait. I wanted to open one now uh, while I'm hanging out. Actually, well, I, I, that reminds me, I need to go grab my coffee. Mm, nothing like coffee and trading cards. 
you know, this people would think this is very childish. And I mean, I guess it, it is childish in a sense, but uh, trading card games aren't necessarily childish. I'll tell you two reasons quickly. One, because just having, you know, collections, if we look at just collections in and of themselves, there's not necessarily anything childish about that. Why would there be? Um, especially things that have value. It's in, well, none of these have value, which I was going to mention. I looked through all these. My most valuable was actually this Curlia, and it was 15 cents. <laughs> um, these were actually the same value, I think, and they were maybe around like 9 or 10 cents, maybe a little more, like a couple of cents more. But that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with chump change with these guys, but that's okay. They're, you know, they'll go up in price for one, probably, um, you know, in a while, when we look back at these in 10 years or so. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, that was the one reason. The other reason being um, trading card or battling, you know, card games in themselves. People, all types of people play those. People play all types of game. All types of people play all types of games, I should say. But one thing that's, and that's mostly online. You think of Magic the Gathering, Hearthstone, um, even Yu-Gi-Oh! has a lot of online and uh, digital games. Um and many others, but there's one thing about Pokemon, and it is that, and this is going to be either you're a heathen and you're going to be like, oh, that's lame, or you're not a heathen and you believe in objective good, and you'll be like, okay, yeah, that actually makes some sense. Um, the uh, Pokemon is by far the most wholesome of all of them. I, Hearthstone's pretty good. But I would still not put it on par, nearly on par with the wholesomeness of Pokemon. Meaning you keep your, your conscience mostly clean. And, you know, it's it's not something that you have to, like, hide from children. Which is, if you have to hide something from children, there's probably a bad reason for it. <laughs> so, uh, and Yu-Gi-Oh! wasn't bad, but they're definitely pushing the, pushing the envelope a little more than... Uh, than Pokemon is here. Um, Pokemon does, uh, especially the anime, and that's something we may have to talk about in the future, um, push the envelope. I, th I don't recommend the anime. I've actually been like grudgingly making my way through the whole anime series, or as much as I can get to for it on the streaming services I already have. But um, even from the very beginning, it's like... It's it's not very good. Um, speaking from like a Catholic or just moral perspective of any sort of any kind of like traditional perspective, um, it's a little it's a little too much in my opinion. <clears throat> but the card card game, because it's just cards and collecting and and also battling, which does require strategy, right? Just like strategy games, there's much strategy, especially the more they uh, grow. The trading card game, uh, the more strategy goes into it. You know, now there's much more strategy than there was when they had the first couple sets coming out. Now, actually, as far as the games go, I, I am also working my way through those. But the ones I played are pretty. There's there's really no issue. I mean, you get the normal stuff that you would get in pretty much anything else. But like, I'm not talking any of the really bad stuff. You do get like the just semi the, the communism the feminism uh just the whole emotionalism kind of wokeness embedded it, that's embedded in pretty much everything at this point but it's not at a crazy too crazy of a level i think it's still playable a card game is a whole different thing because it's again like i said it's literally just cards um the one problem with that i found and i this is another thing maybe we can discuss uh, on the channel at some point when we talk about maybe, you know, po philosophy and things behind Pokemon as uh, we do a different game and movie and other entertainment series like this, this uh, Elder Scrolls, maybe things like that, you know, things that other people, because Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, a lot of people do those, although we might touch on both of those as well. Might do like RuneScape, things that I've been in that I know that there's at least a niche crowd for, uh, especially something as big as Pokemon. Definitely get into that because I guess a lot of people do think it's too childish to uh, deal with. They'd rather deal with Star Wars, 
Lord of the Rings for sure, because that's, just, I mean, J.R.R. Tolkien's amazing. But <clears throat> there's actually a lot to be said for and probably also against uh, Pokemon, which we will be doing. That's all I have to say. Let's open some packs. Before I do that, yeah, I'm just going to go through real quick here uh, and look at these. So we had these two, I think it was, from, what was that? Er, Mystic something? That was, this is like one of the Sun and Moon sets, one of the last Sun and Moon sets. I don't have my stuff up now. Okay, yeah, now I got my website aid up. It is, uh, it's Hidden Fates there. So yeah, these were both worth a couple cents. <laughs> Brock's Grit, Koga's Trap. Interesting card there, I thought. I haven't played Battled in a very long time. Probably much even even much longer than since the last time I uh, bought packs. Uh, although I may have played some online or something. But your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and poisoned. That's interesting. Um, and then we have... Uh, that is the Chilling Rain. And it was just the one of those. And then we went into... Sword and Shield there, right? No, yeah, yeah. Uh, those were those are uh, in the wrong order though. This one should have come first. I kept messing that up for some reason. I ha I had it that way and then I flipped it again. So anyway, we go into the rest of or yeah, and that's the only Sword and Shield. And then we go into a bunch of uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Silver Tempest ones. There we have our Emalga, which is the cheapest, the, the least valuable, I should say. Our Baneri. And these are all like under five cents. Drowsy. And then our uh, our Lopunny, even Sandile, under five. This is also the last time, sorry folks, that I'm not going to have my, my own, my camera, my phone camera stand. So I I won't have to hold it anymore after this video clip. It'll be clipped together with the opening of the other pack of these type that I'm going to go get later on. <clears throat> and then our spinner rack, our Toget Togetamaru. I don't actually know for sure if that's how you pronounce that one. And then our Chimecho. Then comes our gym trainer, trainer card, supporter trainer card. So that's interesting. And then we get into our, then we get our Noibat. Get our Swirlix that I was, I thought was interesting how far up it was in the list, even though it's still like, we're talking like eight cents maybe, something like that. I think we haven't yet crossed the 10 cents, but I think Frostlass might, no, Mouse Stick was up there. It, I mean, can't really say up there, but you know what I mean. Yeah, then the Frostlass. Um, and then, yeah, the Victini and the Breaks in were about the same. I think it was like maybe 10, maybe they were about 10, 11. Curlio, which was the most at 15. And then we got into our newest, which is, yeah, it's Crown Zenith. Just a chat hot. These are again, like nothing. Coughing and Love Disc, there were just three of those. And then we had three Scarlet and Violet. And those came from those weird repackaged things. It was technically advertised properly, but um, just you know, not uh, not the best uh, cards to get because it seems like they definitely skimped out. Anyway, from the the other half of that, we ended up with the hair cross, which is worth like four cents. Tandem mouse, which was five cents. And Quaxley was six. But anyway, that's those. This is this. Let us add a few more. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just have to do this so you can sort of watch the opening. There we go. All right. Esparth Espathra. Espathra. 
and a scarlet and violet pack. Oh, and of course, the coin, the Fue Coco coin. <clears throat> just like the old ones, bigger, but just like a plastic thing on the back, shiny-ish on the front. Shiny plastic. <laughs> of course, get this uh, your e card or whatever. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> and then a Spathra Hollow promo. It's actually worth a little bit, but not a much. Uh, what was it? 16, maybe 14. Camera doesn't want to do anything, but uh, there you have it. Pretty cool. You already saw that, though. Let's look at the other ones Scarlet Violet. 10 additional game cards. Let's see what they are. And this should have a, uh, oh, maybe it won't have a, oh no, it should have a, a E card, right? I don't know how it wouldn't, it would have to. Yeah, there it is. All right, well, I guess I'll just start on this side because I looked at it already. And there is a Magneton. Magneton. I've always called a Magneton. Uh, got a, oh, I thought it was uncommon. No, he is just a common, actually. Oh, wait. Okay, let's set this up a uh, a little nicer now my phone back in my hand all right there we have our magneton ooh a clawitzer i'm partially aware of that one another common interesting another stage one common ooh nice a graveyard sweet gotta love the dog pokemon Another common, of course. He is a basic. Ooh, Ponyard. Cool. Another basic. So that's our fourth. Maybe this one's actually in order. Um, another dark card. Dark Pokemon card, though. Cool. Oh. Giving things away. Nice. The Medicham. Gotta love that. Nice Gen 3 Pokemon for us. Now, without revealing more, our Coaxwell, which is fantastic because now we've got, well, we have already have a Quaxley. I should say we already have Quaxley. So now uh, got the next, got stage one, his evolution. We just need uh, whatever that last one's called. <laughs> this is actually, I have Scarlet and Violet. I started on, I started a little bit on Violet, and I did start with uh, Quaxley, and he he did evolve to Quaxwell. I didn't get the next one yet. I have seen the name before. It's just slipping my mind now. Ooh, a Cyclozar. It's an uncommon, but also interesting. Speaking of Scarlet Violet, he's not from that. Well, I guess maybe he is. No, 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 maybe not. I think he came earlier than that. <clears throat> but they do mention him in Violet because of what uh, uh, <laughs> his name's in my mind too. But uh, your legendary on there, Maridon. Mar Mar Maridon. That's funny because uh, you ride on him. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. Look at that though. Cool Hound Hour. Um. Is that the, uh, what do they call these, reverse hollows still? So reverse hollow. You can see the difference in the, uh, some of the other things like that, the common marking. <clears throat> but awesome, 
awesome card. Another another fire type. So we have this in our and our uh, breaks in. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. You know what? It should. It would be cool if it had some random dark symbols in there because it is sound hour. But I don't think they would do anything. Like, I don't think they'd do that because that is a fire card. Um, yo, I can't believe it. Or two reverse hollows, and this one is a Sco villain. I love it. I love it. This might be one of my new favorite Pokemon because it's a uh, pepper. It's a pepper plant. And I, if you watched one of my, my, uh, I'm back video, you know that I am now a big fan of growing peppers myself. <clears throat> and so he's perfect. <laughs> he's, he's perfect for me. And the next one is another awesome card. Yo, did we seriously just get a legendary? It probably doesn't, it's probably not worth much, but it is a hollow of a legendary. <laughs> um, those certainly don't come in every pack, right? So it's got to be worth something, right? I sure hope so, because that's cool. So maybe it is Maridon, because this one's Coridon. Co this is the Scarlet Legendary, of course. Wow. That looks like a lot of damage. Oof. Discard three energy, though. Man, that is cool. Okay, that's got it. Should we look it up right now? Yes. I am gonna... I'm gonna do it. You can just have to bear with me here with my crappy, crappy screen, screen on screen. <laughs> but, uh, <oop. clears throat> um, do this. And we're looking for Hollow Coridon. It's hard to see with my phone in front of my face. Let me just look at okay. Fighting brownie orangey card. He's he, surely he's not in the first half. There's our is that the same hound hour we got? It has to be. Yeah. So it's worth six. Try to see this where the Scovillian is too. If I think about it as I pass it, oh man, are you kidding me? Wait, no, no, because look, it does look like it's hollow there, doesn't it? So even though it doesn't say hollow, um, I can't believe it. That's only worth seven cents. Well, like I told you, well, let's look at what. And this one specifically, what are the bottom cards or whatever, the ones that are worth the most? Uh, not available. Number one. Number two, Gardevoir. Uh, oh, that's maybe there's Meridon EX. So these are really the, the, the ultra rares. Um, got some balls. Arvin. Ralts. Arvin Miriam again. Yeah, so. And they're really, they're only worth a bit themselves at this point. They're pretty new. What was this? Uh, 2023. Psh, not even a year old yet. Youngsters. Anyway. Maybe it'll be worth a little more in the future. But not bad, right? I mean, you would need it if you're going to uh, get to EX, right? So I guess that's why it's uh, it's why it it's it's weird for me because I'm not used to all that like 
the V's and the EX's and all that stuff. So um, when I see like this, I don't think of it having quote unquote evolutions, not even like mega evolutions. I'm not even used to that, not even in the games. So, and then of course we have our psychic energy. And that's that. Bad. I'm happy with them. I'm, I'm quite happy with this, even though it's not worth much. Happy with that, even though it's not worth much. Actually, I didn't see what that was worth, but it's probably not much. That because that's, <laughs> I was just talking about how that might be my new favorite because of what he is. <clears throat> um, Hound Hour, pretty cool. Cycluzar is pretty cool. Quaxwell, definitely cool because we have Quaxley Medicham School, Gen 3. Ponyard, sure, why not? Grave Art's cool because that's a dog. <laughs> uh, Clowitzer, I mean, not bad. Definitely not bad. It's a common, but it's a stage one. Same with Magneton here. And Espathra to uh, round it out as our promo there. And that, my friends, is all. And I guess now it'll be, we'll just be waiting for next time. be yeah but I put the um, e card or whatever it is back in there <clears throat> so I, so I know where it is anyway a few more cards to add to the new collection this one is definitely the uh, most valuable we currently have from the new stuff um, yeah and you that's that, and if you want a little sneak peek at maybe what we'll be looking at in the future. I already gave one sneak peek of these. But now, I've gone through these, and I've put these in value order as well, and these go from the latest cards to the earliest. So, if I start... So if I pull this out first, so you can't see all the high values, because I had them written down there. <clears throat> I'll just show here real quick. These are from, you can see there, that little poogie ball. That is, these are my, my newest, my latest cards <clears throat> before I started collecting again, I suppose. And they come from 2004. That's how long it's been. That is the EX Fire Red and Leaf Green. <clears throat> I actually got a pack, I'm pretty sure. I got the... I got the Fire Red pack. So I ended up with some Charmanders from it. A bunch of them. Pidgeotos. A bunch of Pidgeotos. Arcanine. Charmeleon. Decent worth a, uh, a few bucks, I think. A couple bucks, maybe. Pidgeot is the most, though, of all of them. I don't have much, because like I said, I think I only got one deck of these, so that's all I have. Um, but, regardless, the Pidgeot is still worth uh, $11.50. <clears throat> so, that's cool. That's something. Not nothing, right? And pretty much all the cards are in mint condition I would say. There's some that maybe are a little tad less than mint, but maybe even restorable perhaps. I try not to do anything to them at all So at this point. So anyway, <clears throat> I don't want to get into too much else. You can see here the next, the other, the next to latest um, series that we are dealing with here. And we'll check these out in the next one maybe ones that go on. So I have a few more of these actually, and that is, uh, and that up here we can see is the four of the N Nintendo expansions back in the e-card series. And that's what that was all about on the side there. And that is the Expedition base set. Oh, no, no, this one's Aquapolis. I don't have any Sky Ridge. I have some uh, Aquapolis. <laughs> I have some Expedition base set. These are the Aquapolis, <laughs> and we will check those out uh, next time. There's the e-card logo.
Anywho. Alright, what's up? Back again with some, with the new stuff. Um, and I also uh, did a little bit of reordering in here as well with the last pack I opened. Uh, as I looked up the prices of all of those. So, as I said, we got the other um, promo here. Spide Ops, which if I played uh, a little more of Violet, I would have known what this was. But I never evolved that thing. So, a uh, tar Tarantula. <laughs> which, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, another Fue Coco coin. Plastic with a little bit of shininess on it. Uh, and the back, of course, as we'll see, has the Pokemon logo on it. And uh, again, this I, I misspoke about the other promo card that we got. The uh, uh, I'm gonna learn these eventually. Uh, the Espathra, Espathra, Espathra. <laughs> uh, if I knew what those things were, Espa probably. I don't know what the Athra is re referring to exactly, but I misspoke about the value of this. This is $2.45, I believe, is what that came out to. Um, yeah, and this uh, Spide Ops is two sixty-five. dollars So there's that. And what I what I learned, other than that, that is these two, I should say. This is would be the the most valuable I've opened, seen so far, uh, and these new ones, and this would be then second most at this point. But other than those, I had the Curlia was was the most at 15 cents. <laughs> Here we have our some of our, I think that was 10 cents, maybe around 10 or something, 12, 13, and then the Curlia was 15, and then we had a couple which were not great, and then we have our yeah, sorry, I forgot the uh, the camera stand again. So, gotta bear with me still. I get our. What did we have here? And the Cyclozar. We actually looked up. That was or not the Cyclozar. We maybe we did look that up, but the uh, Coridon, and that was like tsh, actually what was it? Eight cents maybe. It was not very much, but the most tied with the uh, Curly and now was our. Um, reverse hollow Scovillian with uh, at 15 cents again so that's cool that's cool one of my new favorite Pokemon and it is now my one of my most valuable new cards <laughs> but if you but of course as we saw um, I got plenty of older cards these are uh, I guess these are just these just just for fun for now and then, um, of course, we'll open up a new Scarlet Violet pack here. This was the one I just went to, uh, well, I grabbed when I went to DG, when I went to the store. So we got that. We'll open up to match the one we just did. I already had, with the one Vivid Voltage, I ended up getting one more of those. So we'll get to those at some point. I ended up getting one of these tins, like I said, they had two of the Pikachu ones there. I ended up grabbing the Pikachu one. Maybe it would have been smarter to uh, get one of the, I think they had Sprigatito and Pommy were the other two they had. There's five total though. Um, I'm gonna assume the Fue Coco and the Quaxley are the others. They actually make a big picture if you have all five of them and they, and we'll see this later because this comes with two packs and some other stuff. So we'll actually look at that. Um, all together sometime. The boosters, the sticker sheet, and the art card. Yeah, so there's that. That was this was actually ten bucks. It was the same same price as you would get uh, if you got it like online or something. Although I don't know if they have those in stock anymore online. This was five. And I think this was like five fifty two. This was five uh, this was from last time. I am still considering maybe getting another one of these. Uh, and then finally got uh, the other Blissey here. So, yeah. Both of those tins with three packs each and we will be opening. Those are actually the oldest of all the things that we have here. Um, 2019 is the 
is the date on those. This one was 2022 for the Silver Tempest. Right, that's what it's called, right? And then uh, 2023 for the Scarlet and Violet. I think this was t also 23. Yeah, because it is also Scarlet and Violet. Uh, anyway, oh yeah, and then the Vivid Voltage 2020, yes. So the 2020s, that's the same, I think. This might have been 2021. Um, yeah, so there's that. And we're going to get into this. And again, since I forgot my stand again, you're just going to have to bear with me here. Just for the initial opening. <clears throat> One thing I did forget to mention, I was mentioning all the um, the reason, well, all the similarities, and yeah, complete similarities this has with you know, online games and obviously our online card games, uh, strategy games of all sorts. But one of the benefits I meant to, or better things about it that I meant to, was going to mention, and again, maybe it's a little subjective, but I don't know. There's something about the physical, -ness, <laughs> the physicality of it all that I think is better uh, than the uh, online stuff, right? Pack opening, for instance. And it slows down the process when you have to do it this way. And uh, I don't know, kind of makes it more enjoyable. Uh, so there's the pack, the Scarlet Violet, and then our Spide Ops. And same, looking fancy. And the coin, same as the last time. Cool. All right. So there's that. Let us see what do we have in here. Is there spite ops? Oh, yeah. I say my pretzel container is really more my dog's pretzel container. Peanut butter filled pretzel container. All right, Scarlet Violet boost pack, I guess really number number two that I've had, although I have had three other Scarlet Violet cards from one of those other weird packs. repackaged from a different manufacturer. Again, kosher enough, but I wouldn't trust that they're giving you the the best uh, the best cards every time. All right. There we go. That's awesome. Toad school. Um, this is the first time I've seen it on anything game including Pokemon Go or uh, anything else really. So that's cool. Toad School. <clears throat> All right, now come back to normal here. Back to Drew. All right, Spite Ops. Toad School. These are probably going to all be our commons here, I imagine. Sandile. I know that he's not worth much. <laughs> But we don't have them yet, so there's that. Haven't had any uh, duplicates just yet. But yeah, he's he's like the two cent range. I can't remember what uh, what uh, Toad School is. That is a Hound Doom, which is common. <laughs> But again, I guess, I guess, there's so many, like, super cards now that any normal cards, like non-Houndoom EX or, or V or VMAX or whatever they're, whatever 
they're using these days <laughs> at the end of it um, it's not one of those so a common we got another common there but hound doom so that's cool that's cool we got a fido another dog another doge all right all right common of course again oh cool uh Mousehold? Mouse, Mousehold? Mouse yeah. That makes sense. That's funny. But uh, we have Tandem Mouse already, so cool, cool. And there's somewhere. Tandem Mouse, you in there? Where you at, Mousy? Here's that Tandem Mouse. Alright. Cool. By the way, uh, Prego does not have lower than 600 milligram of sodium in their sauce, unless you maybe find a low sodium from them. <laughs> Anywho, Crocolore, uh, Crocolore next. Another awesome one. This is our first uncommon here. No way, Mousehold was also uncommon. That's right. Stage one, stage one. Crocolore though, Fue Coco's evolution. So a starter there, quite nice, quite nice, but no fancy cards this time from this one yet, but we're pretty much getting close to the end here. Um, Florges, oh, Flor Florges, 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 Glo Gorgeous, Florges, right? Is that what they're going for? I'm not sure. Or forges, like forages, forages. Anyway, uh, all right, <laughs> another uncommon. I am. Oh yeah, that is um, uh, now now uh, floet. Is that what it's called? I can't remember what that one is. But this is our this is stage two here. So a third evolution of Flabebe. I do remember that name at least. And all right, all right. Nice. Torkoal, Reverse Hollow. Not bad, for sure. Well, to me at least. That's another Gen 3 for us. Another me, I think the other one I referred to was Medigem. Another Fido, but this one is a Reverse Hollow Fido, so that's cool. We got the, the same. We technically had a duplicate, but not, and oh my goodness. I shouldn't have lifted this up because we definitely have something much better than we got last time underneath this Fido. And so I take it back. We had two fancy cards plus another one. So we had just as many as last time. But this is a cool Fido. I'm happy about that. But I need to move on to the next one now. I swear. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, okay. So you don't need regular Spite Ops to evolve into a Spite Ops EX, you can just use the um, Tarantula. This of course is not the same Spite Ops as we got from, from the thing that we just opened that gave us this booster, um, but it is nonetheless another Spite Ops. Can you, uh, can you evolve a, like quote unquote evolve a Spite Ops into a Spite Ops EX if you were to want to uh, evolve your Tarantula and then happen to draw a Spite Ops afterward. Is that a thing? Anyway, that is our energy. Gra grass energy, perfect for all the Spite Ops we now have. Spite Opsies. But that's a pretty cool card. Uh, I'm not sure if they're all shiny, but this one is. So there's that. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, let us just quickly check out what some of these might be as I fly through this. If you want to look with me, you can. This will be a lot easier once I have a, a stand to use. I'm just going to try to, because there's a lot of cards in this one, so. Uh, wait, yeah, that's the one there. Two, three cents for Florges or Flor. Florgus, whatever, however you pronounce that one. 
Uh, is that? No, wait. That's not the curly we have that I said was. Or we have a different curly, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Yeah, we have a curly from a different series. That's why. That one's from Sword and Shield, I think. The one, the one that's uh, 15 cents. A whole 15 cents. Um... Magneton we already had last time. Ponyard from last time. Regular Scovillian. There's the ten, uh, Toad School. Three cents. Uh, Crocolore there for four cents. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Crazy man. I think we, we didn't pass up Fido yet, did we? I don't think so. Yep, there he is. Oh, oh, wait a second. Why are they both? Oh, because they're obviously they're different. Um, but they're both five cents. I think we have the first one there. I think we got the first one both regular or raw as they call it. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, both raw and the reverse hollow. That that first one there listed. The uh, I guess the one with the better attack that costs more. Anyway. Uh, and what do we got next here? Tan, uh, uh, Mousehold over on the left. That's uh, five cents, same as the Quaxwell and uh, in time to mouse itself. Wait, there's another Toad School. Yep. Yep. That's the one we have actually. Yeah, we got the. We got the more valuable one. Whoa. Trying not to try not to actually touch my cards too much. I know. It's lame. They're they're meant to be used. They're really meant to be used, you know. <laughs> uh anyway, uh, let's move on. Wait, yeah. We haven't had any trainer cards yet. Interesting. Is that Quaxley? A different tandem mouse there. Uh, ooh, look at that reverse hollow Houndoom. We didn't run into regular Houndoom yet, did we? There's our Koraiden, and I didn't see another one, so seven cents for him, and that's it. <laughs> Unfortunately. Wow, a lot of reverse hollows. We didn't pass up. We didn't pass most of our cards yet. That's weird. Uh, that's a non. That's a raw torpool. We have the reverse hollow, uh, which we have not passed yet, though we passed many others. <clears throat> Trying here. It's hard with a double with a screen in front of my face. A different screen. <laughs> it's a good thing when you don't see your cards for a while when you're looking low to high. Right? That's what you want. You want it builds the suspense as you continue to scroll down past the fifteen cents, which is where everything else was at. That's our highest, other than the promos. But here we've hit our reverse hollow Fido. So there's lot tied for the best. Now we go down. We have some that are definitely better because surely they're not all here at fifteen. Yeah, we're at the end now. They're in alphabetical order after after price. <clears throat> um, 
Yeah, we still have a few at least that we didn't pass. All right. Sorry. Oh, there's the Torkoal. 16 cents. That's right. That's right. So he's the new best. If it were the case that I missed above all of our other cards, but that's not the case. However, I guess maybe we did see all of them except our uh, Spite Ops EX. Do you see regular Hound Doom? I must have missed regular Hound Doom somewhere. Maybe we did get them all. Yeah, I think we did, except for the... Yeah. Yeah, except maybe the regular Hound Doom. Now that I think about it. Not sure. All right. We continue. Take a look. Check, check that out. Keep an eye out for him. And now we're into the end. There's no way he's this low, so we just missed him somewhere. He must not be worth very much. Let's just go up and find him. It's just deceiving because it's a Hound Doom, right? I don't know what's deceiving about that, but and maybe it's that I don't expect to have one so easily. Sorry for the the running of the machine. There's the raw Hound Doom at four cents. <laughs> There's worse. There's certainly worse. We're down past all this. We just started seeing EX. Okay. So we're down to over 50 cents now. Okay. S there we oh, go. We didn't get very far. 63 cents, man. Our new our new best, not counting those promos again. Um, cool. I mean, it's something, right? It's not nothing. And we could have gone... Uh, oh wow. These cards, uh, these cards actually start getting pretty decent. Uh, wow, 34, 20, 20, 12. I mean, get several that are in the 10, 10 and 11. Wow. Okay. So they are, there are several that are, that have a decent value to them. I mean, again, considering that they're just cards. Anyway, and how much, again, how much you pay for a pack, but how many of those kind of cards are you getting per pack? Eh, not many, not very many, unless you're extremely lucky. Anyway, that is that. I'm going to end up putting these now in the mini portfolio here. There's enough room for them to all go in, and that'll pretty much fill it up almost. And then uh, we'll see. I will probably be able maybe I'll take the energies and I'll put and I'll fill this with the energy cards I get oh yeah and I said I didn't have any trainer cards yet what a doofus I am oh well actually no no that was right right did I get any trainers no I gotta look no I did have that one <clears throat> I take that back what I said right because it wasn't at the very wasn't one of the work wait it definitely was a trainer. And it wasn't at the very beginning. I know this. I guess it was a different pack. Did I open? What did I open so far? I did open Silver Tempest. That's right. So it's going to be probably back here in Silver Tempest somewhere. I don't know. I did have one, I swear. There it is. There's Jim Trainer. Okay. Anyway, that's that. Filling up this mini portfolio pretty quickly. Uh, I will not be getting nearly this many cards in the future. I'm really doing it because, well, one because I will figured I'd like buy out what DG had for now. Maybe it'll entice them to get even more. <laughs> I don't know what their plans are with that. But if they don't, then at least you know I got a decent bit from them. I got what they had. Because uh, again, some of these things aren't going to be available online. Uh, even this, I think. 
And uh, yeah, and then from online, the Pokemon Center, I will be trying to get some other stuff, but it'll come relatively slowly this here and there. Not like these are. Um, this is just kind of my initial burst. So yeah, that's it for now. I'll open some more tomorrow. It'll probably be, I don't know what it'll be. We'll make it interesting. Oh yeah, it'll be something that comes in the mail.